an iconic character, whether it's Kirk or Jack Ryan. Is there a separation between the vision that you have, the self-vision of your character, and, and what the audience might expect or what has been left into their consciousness? I think there's always a, there's, there's always a um, uh, what should we call it? Um, there's always a difference in how you envision it happening, what actually happens on the day, what gets chosen to be put on film, what the editor chooses, what people expect. There's, you know, divergences everywhere. So I've, I've learned very quickly early on to <laughs> not watch myself all that often and, and just to let, just let it be. It's, you know, it's going to happen one way or another and there's no point trying to micromanage anything. This is cornerback. I have a situation. Somebody tried to kill me. Jack, does work okay? Uh, yeah. You know, whether it's a four or Jack Ryan, these are mythical characters that yes. everybody knows. So how does one deal with that self-vision of, of personal interpretation of it and the expectation of, or the, the understanding that the audience has and where does the separation start between following your guts and trying to follow what they might want? It's an interesting question, really, because I think, I think you're right in the way that applies to something like uh, uh, Jack Ryan. There's a classical DNA in that character in this kind of a spy thriller, the 20th century kind of classic. And uh, I think I think that, that uh, you know, you are encouraged by the fact that, that they are classics because people want to see, the, lots of people want to see these stories again and again and again. I come from a, a tradition in the classical theatre where everything has been done before, thousands and thousands of times, so I know that I'm just part of a continuum uh, and that the originality is me or Kevin Costner, Chris Pine, that's the originality. You stick to the scheduled audit tomorrow. Everything official, everything in public. You'll be fine. I need for you to be fine. You know, you sold this as an office job. You're not just an analyst anymore. You're operational now. And that your uh, commitment must be to telling that story of Cinderella or, or Thor in, in, in a new way. I always define it as classical in as much as traditional. It observes certain classical characteristics of the, of the makeup of the piece. But you bring from the inside usually. I think my specialist subject is the character stuff, is the human stuff, is the performance stuff. And you bring the modernity and the contemporary quality in through that. You're not involving her in this. You involved me in this by not telling you gotta me. You got to get her out of here. Send her home. Well, what are you going to tell Sheriff in that I'm home? These are dangerous people, Kathy. You cannot be here. If you told me who you really were, I, I took an hate. oath. I took an oath. I couldn't tell you unless we were married. Oh, and you wouldn't marry that's me. That's why you wanted to marry me? So that you, had, you could no, tell somebody you were on, in the No, come on, of course not. I, you I'm... lied to me for three years, and you were good at it. I think you Kathy, actually enjoyed it. Can we have a, 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 a minute, please? No, you can't. And I think... Uh, You'll never get it right, um, and, and, and people, you know, have their own view. People say, "Don't make the book." I know he doesn't look like that. He can't be. But I think um, it's always exciting to see. I'm always excited to see Hamlet every time. Don't care who does it. Always excited to see it because I want to see it there, Hamlet. I would like to talk to Jack. This is Lowe, geopolitics. Please. It's not couples therapy. Do I really have to remind you what's at stake here, Jack? There's a very real scenario here where we don't get out of this alive. Any of us. Psychological warfare takes into account that nothing is sacred. What kind of mindset does a character need to be in when playing chess at this level where morality becomes a playing card? Uh, holy shit. Uh, pardon me, but... Um, uh that's, I'm just trying to understand the question, but I think I got it. 
Uh, I th- what I liked about this incarnation of Jack Ryan is that it's 2014. And unlike something that took place in 1989 where it seemed a lot clearer about who the good guys and the bad guys were and it seemed a lot easier to make a film casting the Russians as the bad guy or the foreigners as the, as the bad people and the Americans as the great people, now after 2001, after Snowden, after God knows what we've been through in the past 12 years, it's a different world. So I felt it very important for a character who leads with his intelligence, his introspectiveness, his mind, his analytical mind, that even his choice of joining an organization such as the CIA, he would have to take into account the murky, m- the, the murky morality of the past 10 years. And I would have done more of it in this film. We didn't, that's not the film we were making, but I certainly th- felt it important to have it in there. And I, I think it would have been a real disservice to the world and smart people if he didn't have it. You know, you sold this as an office job. Why don't you sit down? Now talk me through your very scary scenario. Keep in mind I don't have your PhD. Tokyo, London, the United States. It's gonna be a wipeout. We'll never see it coming. You're not just an analyst anymore. You're operational now. Jack? I have to go to Moscow. Why don't you want me to come? Because I'm gonna be working the whole time. They play rough over there, Jack. Victor Cherevin is unpredictable. You Americans like to think of yourselves as direct. Perhaps you are just rude. Perhaps you're just touchy. How does one balance the, you know, the verbal texture, the visual texture, especially when you are both directing and acting, or do you keep that in control in your mind? Uh, I think that you, it's, it's an intuitive thing. It's almost a sort of musical approach to it, a choreographic approach. You, you feel the movements in a film. If it's well written, this was well written, so the writers have already provided it for you. I think that my approach, because I come from the theatre, is to serve the writer. So I, I worry less about what I have to bring to it. What I'm, I'm always trying to find out what's there. I'm trying to find... Rodin used to say that, you know, about, about sculpture, you know, how do you come up with the, with the statues? He said, I just chip away at the rock and there they are. Well, you're trying to find that out of the screenplay, and so that, that helps give you an intuition about where there should be less dialogue, where you need to go outside, where the camera should move very, very quickly, where you need to have a static frame, and you learn to listen to your sort of almost a musical instinct about it. You think this is game, Jack? They will bring us to our knees without even firing a shot. There's a very real scenario here where we don't get out of this alive. We are compromised. If you find the truth, will you believe it? 